It's Chris Murray with DaycareHotline.com and I just wanted to do a quick video to address one of the most often uh, asked questions that I get from people who um, use our resources and, and training and that is uh, having trouble getting started. Um, people ask me all the time, Chris, how do I just get started? I, uh, they feel and you may feel this way too if you're thinking about starting a child care business. Um, you feel stu stuck. And so what I wanted to address in this short video is how do you get unstuck? And what's your first step? Okay? So there's a couple key things that I want you to try doing if you're feeling like you've been wanting to start a child care program either in your home or in a center or the basement of a church and you're just you, you've got the inertia, you're just not able to move forward. Um, so some of the strategies that I recommend that you do, first and foremost, if you haven't done this yet, you need to do this right away, is to find out what your state requires in terms of child care licensing and regulations, okay, for your uh, individual and specific situation. And when you do that, you're going to learn so much about uh, the regulation landscape in your state, what does it look like, what are the ratios, uh, what are the requirements for you to get uh, CPR certified or first aid certified or what have you. And so to figure that out, you need to contact your state child care licensing um, office or agency. Okay, so you can actually go to my site uh, at daycarehotline.com and there's a tab on the, near the top, uh, there's a button that says daycare uh, regulations or daycare licensing regulations and you can click on there and click on your state, you'll see a map of all 50 states. Click on your state and you'll get a link with information about how to contact them and I would just call them up, okay, they're used to getting calls all the time. So your first step is to call them, request an information packet and um, whatever they need to send you to start working towards getting licensed or regulated. Okay, and there's different levels in each state. And in some states, you don't need to be licensed at all. Or if you're going to be under a certain level of children in your program, like if you're working out of your home and you have fewer than six children, for example, um, in certain states, you would, you would not need a license at all. So that's something that you need to consider and learn about um, really well so that you'll be able to tell what the implications are for your particular situation. Okay, so that'll get you started. And that'll start getting you excited to take the next step. Okay, so once you get going with that and you get clear about what your state requires and you have a plan, right, so have a little road map or a plan about what you're going to do in the next three to six months. Uh, and, and in some cases, I've had people start their child cares in their home in six weeks or less. Um, once you get started and you stick to your plan, you'll find that it actually can go pretty quick, okay? Um, so, but if you're stuck, that's the first step. The next step would be to create some sort of a plan for yourself. So it doesn't have to be this long, drawn-out business plan if you don't want it to be. Um, but it needs to at least be a plan for what are the key steps of things that you need to get done and when are you going to get them done by. And then you drive yourself to that schedule, okay? Um, there's a really good layout for all the steps that are in my daycare success system product, which again, if you want an, an affordable way for me to take you by the hand and get started, um, you can check that out again at daycare hotline um, and just click on the daycare success system uh, picture. But uh, regardless of, of whether you want to invest in that or not, you just need a plan to get yourself excited and kickstarted. So you're going to contact your state. Um, then you need to think about how you're going to market and get your word out there uh, and how you're going to deal with the layout of your home or the layout of your center. So what's that going to look like? What does that entail? What do you need to invest in? What's your budget? What are your safety considerations? Okay, so, but again, the very first step is to contact your state and they'll help you. They may actually even have complimentary resources and training for you to figure out all of those steps. And they may even have a mentoring program as well. Many states do. So I would check into those resources and that'll get you excited 
and motivated to get unstuck and get, um, take action and get some traction on your plan to start your, your child care business. And uh, so get going on that dream. And if you need more help or resources, uh, check us out at daycarehotline.com. This has been Chris Murray, and we'll catch up with you guys next time. Thank you.